In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to render denim. Denim is one of the most widely used fabric in fashion and it's very important to learn how to render it because there are too many variations, too many washes, too many colors, too many shades inside it. And there are millions of ways you can create a new texture inside denim. So let's start rendering one flat sketch of denim to understand how to fill a normal color. So this is the group I'm working on, method 1. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch off method 2. So there is no confusion. So I'm working on this base denim layer 1. Now let's click on this foreground color. Go on to a palette of blue. And then choose the kind of blue that you like. So I've chosen blue. Now go to magic wand, select the white part inside the denim lines. Right click and then press shift key. You can see the plus sign, this will help you to add selection. Keep on clicking till you select the entire part. Now we have at least the front part which we can start rendering. After selection, add a new layer, select the new layer, layer 1 and press Alt plus Backspace or Delete to fill in foreground color inside the front selected part. Now press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now we are done with the front part of the denim, a basic color but it does not look like denim. So how to get that texture? Now remember our two tools, one is dodge and the other is burn tool. Dodge tool will help to bring in the highlights of denim. Increase the size of the brush. Let me do half of the exposure. So we are going to give it a light enzyme wash. You just see this. So every time I'm clicking, it is taking away the color. Now suddenly that whole texture of dead denim has started emerging. So now we have just given a simple enzyme wash to it. Now remember the burn tool just to make it more authentic. We have to darken the sides so that there is more of a color variation in the jeans. Darkening side seams, then in seams. Just click and drag. For hem shading, click from bottom to up stroke. So the whole point of creating denim is to create highlights and dark shadows. Because when you look at the denim, it has too many colors that you have seen. Select dodge tool again and highlight the waist loop and pockets. And then burn tool to give under shadows.
So we can pretty much say that this has got rendered. This is how you can basically create a denim jeans. And it all depends on you what kind of wash or shade you want to give it. So if you want to give a different shade to this denim, duplicate this layer, press Ctrl or Command J, give a new shade to a new layer, do not spoil the existing denim layer. Click this icon at the bottom and select hue and saturation, drag, I have all the color options that I want to do. You can change the shades of it, dark or brighter. So it is basically going to change the color of the jeans. If you want it lighter, you want to take away all the blue part from it. So a lot of things can be created out of this. Also go to this adjustment layer and press Alt. You see a drop down arrow and then click. This will link the adjustment layer only to the bottom layer. This is method 1 of rendering denim. Create realistic denim. So let's do that. Let's try a different method. Go to base layer 2. Here I have opened the denim swatch that we learned in the previous tutorial. Select rectangular marquee tool and create a selection. Make sure denim swatch layer is selected. Press Ctrl or Command C to copy. Then press Command D to deselect. Hide this denim layer. Go to base layer 2. Select magic wand tool. Click and select the white area of denim flat sketch. Hold down shift key. A plus sign appears next to the pointer to add the selection. Then go to edit, paste special, paste into and you have got your denim here. With the help of move tool, adjust the swatch. To fill the remaining part, press alt. You see two black and white arrow and then drag. The swatch gets duplicated. Now zoom in, adjust the swatch with the help of move tool to align the weaves. Now let's merge both these layers. With one layer selected, hold down shift key and select the other layer. Now right click and choose merge layers. To turn it into one single layer. Now let's see the magic of dodge tool to see how brilliantly it creates an enzyme wash on this denim. Just click and drag. Now go to burn tool and create all shadows. Outer seam. Then in seam. Bottom part, click and drag from bottom to top stroke. Dodge tool reduce the size of the brush. Highlight the waist loops. Pockets to give realistic look. Now go back to burn tool and give under shadows. The best part of burn tool and dodge tool is, it does not affect the area where there is no fabric. 
This will help you create that 3D nest into the jeans. Also to the back part of the jeans, add shadows. This is a difference between painting a denim and creating a realistic kind of denim. So this is how you can make a denim which was originally just a flat sketch. You can also change the shade of this denim. Go to this fabric layer. Press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this layer. Hide the initial layer. Go to Hue and Saturation. Press Alt to link this layer to the underneath layer. Any change will only affect the layer underneath the adjustment layer. Drag and see which shade you want. So this is how you have made a denim which was originally just a flat sketch. So as you practice more denims, you are going to understand how to create new effects.